Hi everyone, welcome to Bonnie Carolee Makes Cards. Today's card features the Stronger Together stamp set from Simon Says Stamps March card kit. I'll start off with an apology. I have been so busy preparing scheduled posts for the time that I was going to be away that I somehow lost a clip. Lost a clip, you ask? I have no idea. I don't know where it is. The mysterious missing clip is actually the first clip in this video. I'll quickly talk you through what I did. I began with an A2 size panel of Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I die cut this panel with the third largest die of Simon Says Stamps A2 thin frames. This die was also used to cut out another thin frame using gold matte cardstock. The floral image was stamped with a Copic Friendly ink, Memento Tuxedo Black. Now that we're caught up, we can talk about the Copic coloring. The leaves were colored with BG90, 93 and 99. I started with the darkest tone at the base of the leaf and worked up to the lightest tone using a feathering technique. I used the darkest green BG99 to color in the sepals at the base of each of the flowers and to redraw both the stems. I'm not sure how long I've had this set of BG markers sitting in my Copic collection, but I'm pretty sure I've never used them before. But I'll be sure to use them now that I know that I have them. I really love this gray green. The flower petals were colored with RV66. RV63 and RV000. I start at the base of the petal with my darkest tone and work up to my lightest. The lightest tone is just barely pink and provides a nice highlight area. It is a softer option to the colorless blender that I typically use. This image was very fast and easy to color. In spite of that, I just feel it has such an elegant look. And it is nice to intersperse some of the projects that are more labor intensive with ones that are faster to complete. I popped my panel in the misty and lined up my sentiment. I inked the stamp with Versamark ink and then coated the sentiment with Wow Metallic Gold Rich Embossing Powder. I applied heat until the sentiment was nice and smooth. I put the fine gold frame inside the outer cutout of the panel and taped it in place. For me, it is easier to adhere both of these pieces together onto the card base. I use a little bit of double sided tape to hold my card base closed. When I apply liquid glue to the outer cutout panel, I make sure that glue also goes on that very fine frame. With the card base laying flat, I can easily attach the cutout frame to it. The small panel is attached to sheet foam. The excess foam is trimmed off. This small panel is then attached to the center of the card base. I'm now ready to add the final embellishments and will be using Studio Cash's gold foil pearls. I use a jewel picker and Nouveau Smooth Precision Glue to quickly adhere the pearls around the floral image and the sentiment. This completes a very quick and easy card, but an elegant one, I think, featuring Simon Says Stamps Stronger Together. I appreciate your time and thank you for watching this video.